You get Renown boost after the next mission too? Yeah, that's that's true. I'm I'm not a big fan of these, to be honest. I don't really want any of those. These would be really cool as well, like the Book of Horrors. It's so expensive. We'll probably get some of these next time. For Anna, get like a... Some of these horror books. Maybe that, for example. Well, both of those are max level now. I don't know, let's upgrade that last time. So we have a merged isle, Transylvanian region, or Hungarian fort, or highlands. I haven't done Transylvania, I kinda wanna go there. Engineer, quick thinker, I have both of those. Status will be gained from this. I would like to go there. I should go here, to be honest. I get bonus from nature challenges, gold and research would be cool. Hmm. Let's go to the emerged isles. I have not done the Transylvania yet at all, but we'll do that next run. Cannot complete everything in one run I, today. Uh, I have three goals for today. Uh, Memphis Desert, which we did, Transylvania, which we need to do, and Shangri-La, which we need to do. So we'll just do a... The Emerged Island now. Actually... Mm, the boss in the Emerged Island is immune to melee, so... And my, my whole team is pretty much geared for melee. Nah, we'll, we'll go to Transylvania. Who cares? Who cares? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. You're about to solve another mystery. The Globus uh, Kruziger is uh, of Charlemagne, long thought to be a myth, has been tracked down by the renowned explorers. Oops. Pour cola on the table as well. They say uh, that through merchants and thieves, uh, the Globus Kruziger ended uh, up here with a noble family. And I determined to find this elusive treasure. You will have to be careful, white wolves are a common threat, and the few travels that have passed uh, through here have been met with mixed signals by the locals. They even spread preposterous stories of cursed lands. That boss is the easiest boss in the game. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would. But I have not done this area, so I'm a bit tempted to just uh, check this out. To be honest. New stuff is always interesting. The area seems to be bountiful with food. A scout could uh, easily get some uh, supplies here. Well, go scout the area. Too bad uh, the supply run was at the start here. Well, it failed anyways. <laughs> Nothing... We got two campaign tokens and a study token there. No, kind of wanted to open more. This looks way too much like the Hungarian forest, although Hungarian forest and uh, Transylvania are not too far away from each other. But it feels very much like kind of 
recycled art for the environments. I started watching you from the dark forest. As, as you quicken your pace, it becomes evident that you are being stalked by wolves. You take off running, but the wolves are too fast. One star encounter? What? Come at me, wolves. Time for reason. Yeah, absolutely. It's just time to blow up these wolves. Can't reach. Shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm so scared right now. Peace, dudes. This encounter really should have like auto resolve because it's so damn easy. More armor and attack power, thank you. Attack aware that those hungry wolves will bother you no more. The only way to make it to a safe place tonight is if you cross a cliff. Someone needs to construct a bridge. Construct the bridge then. Anna builds a small bridge from some rope and wood, and everyone walks across safely. As the night falls, you hear howling all around. The only way to save is by convincing locals to take you in. Two supplies. Loss. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Hey, Finnan. Champion fails to negotiate, and you are forced to date outside. No one can sleep. So far, this location has been l lots of meh. As you walk through some forest. You see a big area where all the trees have been cut down. You first suspect religion as a building settlement, but then you notice a sign with a cultist symbol and text that says, No sign of the tree here. Continue search. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Some strong looking villagers approach you aggressively, but uh, quickly change tone. Hey, these lands are a property of the Count of the Castle, and you're not- Oh my god, are those real Pinkerton boots? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I need them now. Like now. <laughs> mm. 
No, we need them for our impressive explorations. Ah, come on. I bet we can make a deal. I know you could give me all your uh, explorer stuff. It looks like this will take a bit more effort. Yes, better prepared. That's my boots. You can't have my boots. Villagers will badmouth you. Villagers don't want your boots and you gain status. Oh shit. That's a What is that? He looks like an ever rich villager, but if you do him injustice and turn the mood into brutal, he will show you justice and hammer relentlessly. Justice villager. Transylvanian villager. These guys are tough and are especially hard to take down aggressive. They'll copy your attitude after a, a turn of disbelief. Cowboy boots? I don't I don't know. They're pink Kertonian boots. Damn those fanboys. <laughs> yep. These are some extreme fanboys. There's another uh, another one. Speech down aura. Speech chief and stuff. That's not what I really wanted. I could actually get be peaceful if I throw a peaceful talk, talk in there. <laughs> and now my attack power would destroy them, and I would still get speech defense. Sure, uh, this would destroy that guy. Let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> Screams injustice. <laughs> so they transform. Because you were brutal. 25 attack power, 50 armor and 15 speech defense. Ow! Smack. Oh, they lose the buff? No, they don't lose the buff. You. Hey fanboys, peace out. Ho, ho. Kinda of hoping to kill him this turn. To be honest, this is gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> nice, nice. Keep doing that. So are they still buffed? Yeah, 
If you go brutal there, they stay buffed. That is pretty horrible. Oh, what? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Hacks. Yeah, that is very strange. I really thought I could have attacked from that direction. But apparently no. This could still go really bad. If both of them attack this... Please hit uh, John Beard. Thank you. Ow. Please don't hit John Beard anymore. So, so many buffs. Terrify him first. Is the female? This this gun? This is it. yeah. This is female. Bia is female, and and, and nice of course female as well. Yeah, both Anna and Bia are uh, females. There we go. The villager will badmouth me. That's fine. The better than bruised men start running away. Maniac, we only wanted your shoes. We'll make sure everyone will know about your fall ways. Your words will be taken less serious for now. Minus five percent speech for this expedition. Yeah. Nature challenge, treasure, resources, culture lens. Let's go. Epic tree thingy is in the way. Making your we got lots of shit just going in here. Making your way to the forest, you notice all the trees in this area look weird. There's something special about this, but it's so low chance to succeed. I'm just gonna roll for luck. After a search, short shirt, Jean Piet spots a phase three. It looks both incredibly scary and interesting. Chop it down. <laughs> yeah, I can see that going super, super badly. Just pray on oranges. This run has been pretty much praying on oranges, anyways, all the time, so it's been succeeding really well. I'm going to free searching, it gives me an option to chop it down as well.
Nah, spin the win. Spin the win. Chen Pia studies this tree, uh, studies the trees, and comes to the conclusion that this tree was actually a person once. Pe probably a cultist that was banished from the cult. They drew cultist symbols on the tree surrounding the victim who would then turn into a tree. Finish search and continue. So I guess chopping down would have given me a given me a treasure. Oh, actually, maybe still works. As you leave the place, you notice all the trees are trying to get at you. Some even block roads. Traveling through the forest won't be easy. This expedition. Ah, continue. I should have destroyed uh, the for uh, the tree. Nothing special here. There's treasure there. There's potentially supplies in there. Chopping down gives you a treasure, but did you want to spoil? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that next time. Time for your next meeting. <laughs> Good luck with that, chat punk. We have like four meetings all year, and this week you have all four meetings in one, three days. Busy, busy. Actually, one, one, one. Yeah, let's go down here first. You walk a narrow uh, path uh, through a murky swamp. Sometimes you see half sunken ruins obscured by a thick fog. You could take some extra time and supplies to build a raft and scout. <sighs> Go. With a small raft you explore the swamp. The ruins you find have been eroded to such state that you can't even distinguish what they used to be. You just do some... Uh, you do find some exquisite mush mushrooms that gentlemen of the upper crust would love to eat. Would just love to eat. They will make a good gift. And we are out of supplies. And we lost. All the grief. This village is relatively lively for how isolated it is. When you look around, a woman behind the stand is calling at your attention. For an error, I see you have medical equipment. Wanna trade some resolve for supplies? Yes. Gonna explore a bit more here now. This part of the forest has a particularly diverse flora. You could easily take uh, some time to collect nuts, leaves and seeds. You'll use the interesting ones for research and the rare uh, yet under interesting, un uninteresting ones to sell on the market. Collecting them will cost some supplies though. Just pick a random and leave. Once again, you encounter an area with chopped down trees and a message from Caldis saying that the tree has not been found. Well, this was a very uneventful Transylvania. I don't wanna go there, but I don't have supplies. Let's just go to the castle. You found it. The castle of the noble Dracul family. Yeah, what could go wrong? A disturbing place for sure. Onwards of noble blood. Anna knocks on the massive door, which opens immediately. Welcome, honored guests. Please proceed to my courtyard. You hear, an, hear a voice, but you see no one. Eerie. Chan Pete looks around with interest. Chan Pete uh, takes a look around and warns the crew. There have been uh, stories of noble families cursed with by greed, arrogance, and blasphemy. There is even a myth of a wa the vampire who lures uh, people into submission. The crew is mildly disturbed. On to the courtyard. One secret. Your odds uh, for a future event increased by 25%. Nice. In the courtyard, a most charming count bids you welcome. Another guest, what brings you to this faraway place of mine? Did you two come to admire me? Well, not really, but Bia is oddly attracted to this man. Mention Globus Cruziger of Charlemagne. <laughs> Look at the face. <laughs> that is your great uncle, Count Dracula. <sighs> great, great uncle. There's other stuff in that area, but with a 4 star 
once the map is so big. So you have to get a little lucky to get everything, plus the uh, right character perks to unlock certain treasures. Not the total vampire, no, no. He's Vlad. He's not a vampire. The count is shocked. A holy item here in my castle? Repugnant. It must have been brought here by that Frankish nun in... 965. Cars, search through the entire castle and look for this thing. My guests, please make yourselves comfortable in the meantime. John Piet goes to the buffet. John Piet knows how to get comfortable with the delicious banquet you just passed. Everyone eats uh, in fair modesty, but John Piet eats and eats and eats. In the end, John Piet is left content but very full. That's not very healthy for you, John Piet. One of the guards returns. They have found a holy relic. Could it be the Globus Cruciger? The Count is delighted. Yes, yes, excellent. Now give it. Uh, to those charming explorers, please. And just like that, you get a treasure. What? Cross of Lothair. A detailed cross probably made in Cologne during the Middle Ages. Six collate and one treasure. Uh, secret. The mixing cross of Lothair. Not what you expected, but a fine treasure nonetheless. The Globus Cruciger remains a mystery then. The count continues. Great. Now, if you would excuse me, I have many issues to attend to. I bid you farewell. How are you? Yes? Why don't you leave these explorers behind and stay with me here? <laughs> Join me in my lavish life for all eternity. Be a scoth of card. Hmm. Yeah, she has a uh, over 100 persons, easily. 130% chance, Bia resists. No. Bia makes it clear that these explorers are your comrades and you will stick together. The Count is obviously not content with the answer. Please, listen to all the good things I have to offer. Convince him you cannot stay. 5 star encounter. Mm -hmm. You know why all vampires in your country died last century? No idea. What is that? Servant of the Count. Can be both friendly and aggressive. Boost speech of the alliance around him. He's most charming, especially when you are being friendly. But he's quite easily terrified. He uses an area effect ability, so beware. He may also stun you when you stay in the same emotion he put you in. Yes. These are a uh, impress weakness. Fairly low health as well. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's probably probably true. Could destroy them with my friendliness. Let's stun these guys. We probably don't have want to have the speech defense penalty. And now we have brutal. Hello. Well, the vampire used the A AOE on one guy. I'm pretty happy about that. What, what, what kind of cultists are these? They're making me excited. The bigger AOE ability range would be so beneficial now. 
Get destroyed. That was a horrible idea. Oh well. Oh. And uh, we might die now. Oh no. to go on that yeah okay, let's terrify the vampire there we go grip on us and then we smack him with the ore For a heal. Oh, more, more Kaldis. I didn't even see them come in. will terrify you. I should have hit him uh, with this guy first, then fear him, and then triple slice. Well, gonna die from this. Easy boss. Beaten to pulp. To a pulp. That Don Juan won't arm bother any more people. Pia comes uh, to their senses uh, and you continue to leave the castle all of his secrets and hoard. One secret, five collect, three treasure. And so you conclude your adventure in Transylvania. The crew will long remember this weird encounter with the Count's castle. Shangri-La hype? Indeed. Shangri-La hype next. Friendliest Dracula ever? Pretty much, Haldanskin, pretty much. I'm, I'm already the mo re most renowned explorer, and we have still one more mission to go. Oops. Can we just retire now? As you return to London, Pinker Pinkerton greets you. Anna, you have time for one last uh, expedition before the World Expo starts, and the most renowned explorer is presented. This is your last chance to gain more, more renown. Soon after, Jordan is storm into the society. They all want to hear from you. Anna, Anna, the world is looking forward to your discoveries and judgments. What should the world blah, 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 look for most? I'm just gonna go with the plus 60 renown from all resources, because I like that the most. One last mission. You know how explorers inside jobs in China? 
<laughs> that expanded a bit. I'll level up on... Uh, also on Enraged. The quadruple slash though can be set up for some insane damage if I get it on Terrified Enemy. Let's go for it out. First uh, max level guy, actually. These are gonna level up uh, also in the next mission, we're fairly sure. Uh, so, unlock that. This gives me one token. I wonder if uh, I will get more out of uh, this. Or science. I can get more out of that. More research, I mean. Mm. Yeah, we'll go with this. There we go. And get the AoE upgrade. Drown in dissertations achievement. Ten of these. Yeah, we are not gonna get the last one. No chance. I have a lot of renown, to be honest. Kyoto elites. Nice. Could get these at least. I'm gonna have so much of this. Maybe a bit, maybe a bit too much status actually. Don't really have a place to spend uh, my status. This is maxed out. This is maxed out. Cannot spend it. Yeah, that's the only way to spend it. Is higher some of these. Uh, Specialists. All of them, basically, almost. Tactician. We have tactician. Get the free stats from perks. Yeah, yeah. Not a bad idea. Let's get the Pacinotti. One discovery, nice. And I will get that combustion. Yeah, athlete uh, from this one, definitely. Jean Piet. Tenacious. I, I still have enough to hire uh, the last guy as well. Uh, blah, Devious. Yeah. By one of these speech defense, 45 and 25 armor. This would, be, would make Anna into a massively defensive tank. Although John Piet needs it more. Because he's well he is my tank. Hmm. 
Although Bia would be awesome, awesome with one of these. Nah. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit, bit tough call. I guess we went with that. How much is the better claw? 300 and something. Uh, I could get a good claw at least uh, for uh, Anna as well. Could do this for money. Not enough. I'm gonna still get the claw for him. Uh -huh. Close, close. Of getting the master claw. Actually, she might benefit more from a book. Ah, wait, 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 wait. You. Book of Horrors is a bit more. This was it. this would increase the terrifier powers by twenty percent, and this one is also also plus twen uh, ten to terrifier. I think the Book of Horrors might might be a better option. I don't know. The better Book of Terrors would definitely be a better option. I don't know, how, mu how much is 6? Do Book of Horrors get the better armor? Yeah, actually, if we can get that. Let's do the book. The good book. And what was the better armor? Can we afford? No, I, I cannot afford the better armor. We all... Uh, yes, yes, we can. Sorry, yes. Thank you. That's a good idea. Yep. There we go. Guess that's everything we have. Bit of leftover, but that's fine. <laughs> silly, silly renown already. It will be a shame to lose this run in Shangri-La, but... Bandage. Training regime. Oh, nice, yeah. This was actually not, not bad. More attack power for free. Let's go. The Shangri-La awaits. First tier emotion books are uh, really good for costs. And terrific damage to set up Bia. Yeah, yeah, very, 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 very true. I, I really like the higher level uh, books as well. Uh, maybe not in this this setup. Uh, the one I was having uh, in previous stream, I I think I had like three of those books on that run because uh, we were doing some devious attacks and we were really, really really no we were doing enrage and we had lots of those enrage books and it was really really good. This is an incredibly perilous expedition. Rivalex has obtained the Shambla Shambhala key of privilege to open the gate of to Shangri-La. If you're fast, you can still up there, uh, still collect more Shampala keys and get there before him. You will find uh, the toughest of challenges of all sorts and kinds, but there is an amazing amount of Reno in the beginning here. Speech power set up. Did you save? No. I, I'm doing a adventure mode, no, no saving. So who needs saving? Let's go. Can you open the door? This is it. You can finally prove that you are a better explorer than Rivaleox. You can do so 
in none other than the most magical places. Shangri-La, the Himalayan utopia. It is said uh, that one's dreams uh, come through bit by bit when you are in Shangri-La. <laughs> Brave, good luck. You believe? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I I've been here once before. And I got all the way to the final fight. And got my ass handed by the boss there. At the center of Shangri-La is the palace of uh, Sindamani. This orb is a treasure of mystic proportions, on par with Ark of the Covenant and Eldorado. If you retrieve it, you will go down in history as one of the greatest explorers of all time. Can you see Anna among the most illustrious row of uh, Vasco de Kama, Zheng He and Ibn Batuba? A dream come true. These should be uh, also alternative locations uh, for the final mission. I think uh, this game has a really, really good uh, uh, setup for uh, additional content and DLCs and expansions because you can add like more locations for all this new stuff. But first, you need to beat Rival Aux. It is said that uh, the orb can only be obtained with uh, four Shampala keys. Those will surely give you an advantage at the palace. As you know, Rivalox already has one, and will be looking for the keys as well. So it's better to find uh, them before he does. However, you might be able to snatch orb, snatch the orb away from Rivalox even without the keys. No chance. No time to lose. Time for an adventure. As long as you save resolve, you'll be fine. But Shangri-La is a great place to lose resolve before the final boss. <laughs> yeah, very true. Oof. That looks like a good place to start losing the stuff. Mm. There we go. You arrive at the temple of uh, Yabium, the symbol of love. Your deepest desires can come to life here. If Anna is correct, one of the Shampal geese must be somewhere in the Tis temple. You have to be careful. For the trap of seduction is said to be laid out here. Enter the temple. You enter the temple and, good gracious, it's crawling with beautiful and charming people. They welcome the crew with undeniable warmth. Welcome beautiful, intelligent, sweet people. Please join us and allow us to adore you. You must get across the room to continue, but this offer is tempting. Try to cross the room. The crew moves forward with politely, while well, politely thankling, thanking all the people. But the crew's determination is faltering. This isn't going well. There is a gong on the other side of the room. Striking it is said to stop this beguiling madness. All hope rests on one person to win the battle of charms or iron will. Let's see. I hope you can choose the uh, choose the options. Yeah, choose the options. Uh, 75 with one tool. On a second tooth. Should we use the tool here for a surefire success? Because I, I feel we should. This crew member is dead serious about everything. <laughs> nice. She's like the perfect uh, character for here. Up to you, yeah, it is up to me, I know. Let's go boldly, boldly in, and get the first key. Bia has wills of steel, and the beautiful people cannot keep Bia from reaching the other side of the room where Bia hits the Kong. The beautiful people disappear like illusions, which makes a champion kind of sad. The crew can continue. Yeah, it's in the corner here. Uh, I was really confused as well. I got this tool that can increase my chances and I was like w Where is the option to choose it? And then I suddenly moused over here. Oh, it's right there in the corner You like 75 odds, but it's tough because so many issues in this zone. Yeah, I, I guess it's Just get rid of the key. Uh, I mean the tool immediately and you don't have that haunting you anymore <laughs> That's why you like the two tools. Yeah, I should have gotten the two tools. I, I think that's Something we are uh, should I'm 
blah, blah, blah. I should get always pretty much on every campaign because the two tools on every run can be really awesome. You arrive at the Cloudy Hall, the Shambla key of the heart at its center, but your attention is quickly drawn by two people in front of it. Amir, Revolux's scout, and someone that looks a lot like Cassandra, Revolux's scientist. Amir seems to be talking to Cassandra, his uh, face blushing. Take a peek. If I can say it, this uh, fragment of my desire, I can say to Cassandra. Here it goes, Cassandra, I love you. Oh, I screamed again, sigh. <laughs> Maybe I should just continue to impress her with my insults. <laughs> Ah, oh, the poor fool is only 